Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Lukman and I will be going through all of the Wiki Ross written tutorials in demonstration lectures. So you will find out these lectures very helpful because I will be following all of the process they have taught us in uh, Wiki tutorials. These lectures are going to be really amazing. So starting with the very first thing and that is setting up your ROS environment. If we take a look into ROS environment, what this basically means that how you are going to be developing inside of ROS. Before moving on, let's find out we have ROS or not. So I have ROS Noitic and uh, you can install it by following ROS installation tutorials. I have VS Code for development environment. So I am going to perform creation of a package mkdir and I want to create in my home folder if I bring that this is my home folder I am going to create a directory that is going to be named as r1 wiki workspace if I want to create another folder inside of it I'm going to add minus p this has nothing to do with ROS this is just simply Linux commands ROS wiki and a source folder my workspace has been created so the first thing I'll do as a rule of thumb I'm going to perform cat can make but I have to go inside of my workspace like this and I'm going to perform cat can make here you can see two folders are now being produced automatically I've done nothing just a simple command that's cat can require development process so ROS is a big open source software and very useful for GUI and all that stuff but you have to understand the basics first then comes the real robots and the communication ROS is an open source and developed by thousands of people so they have defined a structure and we have to follow that structure the base low level structure this workspace this package and nodes communication a way that you ha can write we are only going to be using Python for now but you have to follow this workspace sourcing and ROS installation sourcing and that related to it. So we are now going to create the package and we should not create the package inside of our workspace. Currently I am in the workspace. Let's go into the source folder. Here I am in my source folder in this folder now and I am going to say that let's create the folder catkin create catkin create the folder and what is the name of the folder I'm going to be using I'm going to say robot package just a generic name you have to take care of the naming convention do not use capital word with the name of the package it is going to give you warnings and stuff and numbers as well ROS by is what I am going to be utilizing in this package standard messages if I make a mistake here let's say I make it a mistake the dependency is standard messages I just said says standard message so it becomes another dependency and go into my workspace to build the changes that I have done cat can make it is going to give me an error and it is going to say standard messages not found and stuff like that so I'm going to fix it for you because uh, you will find out useful after some development uh, I have given a wrong dependency so I have to fix it in the CMake list and package XML of my package okay it's standard messages here and and in the package XML all of the places where standard message is just write standard messages just showing you that if you have made a mistake while creating uh, the package no worries you can solve it cat can make and make sure that cat can make is always executed inside of this workspace not in the source folder okay although it requires cmake list whenever you run this build and develop folder will be created that means you have done something wrong uh, other than workspace so i have created a workspace but i have to tell you so the next important thing is when you run ros code as i do here you can see that raw score is actually running meaning our system knows where raw score is but our system does not know where my workspace is right so i have to tell in the same way that my system knows where my workspace is so when i do some changes in my package create nodes my system also knows where uh, is my package and all that stuff so let's open up vs code and in vs code let's open up the one of the most important file of Linux system go to home directory and in home directory we have this con 
control H to show me hidden files bash RC file this is the file that is always executed when and whenever I open a new terminal like this so it has to know where my package is you can see this is simple sourcing of another package or another workspace of my development process uh, just I'm going to source my workspace so the file that is utilized to source your workspace is devel setup.bash so I'm going to give a generic sourcing command source which file go into the home folder inside of your home folder there is a workspace r1 wiki workspace then there is a devel folder and then there is a setup.bash file this is the source file that we want our system to know where it is i'm going to paste it here and now my system whenever i have to actually exit it and run it again so now this new terminal actually knows where my package is so that's setting up our packages our system knows where my package is and uh, raw score is all set up the next part is start developing the nodes the launch files and things so let's move on and find out how things are going to be working